In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the bass shake effect in Premiere Pro just like this. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So here inside Premiere Pro, I have my footage and I also have my music on my timeline, and now I'm ready to apply the bass shake effect. So the first thing that I like to do is make this a little bit bigger by double clicking here so I can see my audio, and then I'm gonna play the music back so, so that I can identify where the bass hits are located. Once I played it back and I'm familiar with where those bass hits are, I'm gonna play it back again, but this time I'm gonna make sure that I set markers on those bass hits because that's where we're going to be applying the effect. So I wanna first start off by making sure that I don't have any clips selected to include my audio. Nothing needs to be selected. And then I'm gonna play the music back and I'm gonna press M on the keyboard every time I hear a bass hit, just like this. Once I've created all my markers, I'm then gonna go over here to the assembly tab. I'm gonna right click over here. I'm gonna go to new item and I'm gonna go to adjustment layer. This creates a new adjustment layer. I just wanna make sure that this matches my video settings. And then I'm going to drag that onto the first marker. Then I'm gonna go back over here to the editing tab. I wanna select the clip and go over here under effects and I'm gonna type in directional blur. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag directional blur onto that adjustment layer that I just created. Then I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna change blur length to 30. I'm gonna click on that very first marker here and you can kind of see what 30 looks like. I usually like to stay within the 30 to 50 range. You can go up higher, just depends on what your preference is. But for this specific sequence, I'm gonna use 30. Then what I'm gonna do is go over here to the razor tool because I'm gonna be going frame by frame and making some cuts. So I'm just gonna go over one frame, I'm gonna make a cut, go over another frame, make a cut. And I'm gonna do this until I have enough for my effect. And that should be good right there. Then I'm gonna press V on the keyboard. I'm going to delete this part of the adjustment layer and I'm gonna go in here, make this a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna delete every other portion of the adjustment layer. And I'm gonna delete these two as well so that I have these three right here. Once I play it back, that looks pretty good to me. I like how that looks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on the next marker. I'm gonna highlight these three. Then I'm gonna hold down Alt on the keyboard and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag that over and that should do the same thing. It should drag that adjustment layer over, and this is gonna save me a ton of time. Same thing, click on the next marker, select all three pieces of the adjustment layer, hold down Alt, click and drag over, and I'm gonna do this to the very end of my footage. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna play it back. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.